And welcome back to yet another awesome arrangement lesson here on Lick and Riff, in which we're going to learn what I consider to be the absolute best TV theme song in the history of theme songs, the Law and Order theme, the original Law and Order theme. It's a funk blues masterpiece, and I'm going to play it for you right now so you can see and hear how it goes. Then we're going to break it down lick by lick, note by note, chord position by chord position with tabs right here on the screen as usual goes like this. Enjoy. I know I'm gonna enjoy. to tune your sixth string down to D because this is in drop D tuning otherwise you can't have that iconic bass line now um, before I show you how to play that iconic bass line I want to remind you that right now on my website the link is below in the description there are six new courses waiting for you they're called the 30 Days to Your Guitar Breakthrough series. You have a 30 Days to Your Fingerstyle Breakthrough course. You have a 30 Days to Your Rhythm Breakthrough, to Your Soloing Breakthrough, Slide Guitar Breakthrough, Chord Control Breakthrough, Your Musicianship Breakthrough. It's a whole new series of courses that I have created especially for you, my beloved Lick and Riffers, and I can't wait to see you inside. So the link is below in the description. Check it out. It's fantastic. It's one of the best course series that I've ever produced. So law and order. You have 05 on the sixth frame. Okay, but play it with your little finger. Okay, with your little finger on five on the bass. Okay, zero five. Because then you have to play this. Okay, zero, 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 two, three on strings three and four. Now I want to keep that G bass going. Okay, I want to keep that note ringing. Okay? Otherwise, um, you don't get the full effect. So that's why I use my little finger. Okay, you can play it again if you want. Okay? To keep it ringing even louder. Okay, the second time, you add another two. At the end. So it's zero, 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 two, three, two on strings three and four. Okay, now it's three on the D string and you need to twang it. Okay, you need to pull it out. Okay, away from the guitar and then let it go so it hits the, the, the frets. And then you have this. Okay, it's three again with the open D bass note. Okay, the sixth string. And then you put five on the sixth 
and you hammer on five, three to five on the fourth. Okay, this is a little bit tricky. Okay, you need to get used to this. So you can just practice this. Okay, so it's. Okay, um, and then you have. Okay, you have this again, and then you have this. Okay, it's uh, five on the third string. You bend and unbend it slowly, and then you have this. Okay, it's three six five on strings one two and three, and you play strings three three two three two one, and then you have F. Okay, C shaped bar on five, and you just arpeggiate it strings one two and three. You play the bass, of course. And then you have C minor. Okay? It's a bar on three, A minor shape. You play the same thing. Okay? The same arpeggio, strings one, two, and three. Um, okay, you do it twice, and then you have A flat. So because you have a low sixth string, Okay, uh, down to D, you need to compensate for it. So you can't bar for A flat. So it's four, five, six on strings two, three, and four with six on the bass. Okay, so you play it like this. This time the arpeggio is going upwards. So you play strings four, three, two. And you push it up two frets to B flat. And then you play the uh, D string on eight again and you do it again. Okay, so. Okay, now these are the notes that you play, okay? The B flat bass was still ringing, so it came out a little off, but that's what you play. After you play the A flat, B flat chords again, you play strings three and one. Okay, so you have seven on the third string and then you let go and you play the E string. And you play the A bass. Because then you have A minor and then G over A. So you play the A minor chord three times and then you let go of it and you just play strings two, three, four, and five. This is G over A, so. Okay, so once again. Okay, you play the A bass along with the E string. And then. Okay, you have A minor three times the chord and then you play the open strings, two, three, and four, with the A bass, G over A. Then you have this. Okay, it's two pull off to zero on the third string. And then you have two on the fourth and the open third. So you need to play them as staccato notes. Okay, don't do this. Okay, this is not a chord. It's a solo. Okay, so I let go of the two when I play the open third string. And then you have A minor. Okay, it's um, the A bass with one on the second string and then two on the third. And then, okay, you have A minor and G over A again. And then, it's uh, bend on seven on the third string and eight on the second twice and then seven five on the third and then you have this okay it's seven pull off to five on the third seven on the fourth five on the third seven on the fourth and then you have this okay it's five on the first five on the third you bend it and then seven on the, th the fourth, and then you have A minor and G over A again, and then you have this. Uh, sorry. Okay, 
it's a bar on five, and you have five hammer on to seven on the fifth, and then five on the fourth, five on the third, and then five hammer on to seven on the fourth, and then the second string on five. So it's, and then you have this. It's five hammer on to eight on the on the second string, and then the first twice, and then okay, ten on the first string, and then you have the low D bass note. Okay, you can do it with the slide. Okay, but it's a bit awkward. This sounds a lot better uh, to me. Okay, you can. Okay, you can play it with the slide if you want. Um, and then you have... And... Okay, it's uh, bend on five, bend on bend, pull off to three on the third string. Five on the fourth. Five on the fifth. Three, three hammer on to five on the fourth. And again, this is all twanged. Okay, you need to really let it hit the steel frets. You pull it and you let it just hit the guitar back. And that's your arrangement for Law and Order. I have no idea who's gonna watch this video, but whoever you are, you have terrific taste in music. So, um, the tabs, download the tab, the link is for free. The link, uh, the link is for free, the tab is for free, the link is below in the description, the link is for free as well, um, even though I'm paying for the website, but you're not, so the link is for free. Um, so uh, check out the courses, check out the Break Your Boundaries course program, check out the new six courses, and um, remember, you also have a free workshop, a three-hour workshop at lickandriff.com, so check that out as well. And I will see you the next lesson. Bye for now. Thank you very much for watching.